Welcome to SZR Broadcasting Corporation. For today's sports news, December 4, 2013. Bronx Bombshell, Jacoby Ellsbury to Yankees. Jacoby Ellsbury ended his Red Sox career last night by agreeing to a rich, seven-year deal worth $153 million deal with the Yankees. Now the Red Sox must find a replacement for him, and they are taking a close look at free agent outfielder Shin Su Chu, according to a source familiar with their thinking. The Red Sox believe Chu is more durable than Ellsbury, they prefer his on-base percentage over Ellsbury at .389. It's nearly 40 points higher than Ellsbury's career OBP, and they recognize that he has more power than Ellsbury. With Jackie Bradley Jr. ready to play the center field position but not hit leadoff, the club could opt to move Shane Victorino to center field and play Chu in right field. With the loss of switch hitting catcher Jared Salt to Lamakia, to Marlins, who was more productive as a left handed hitter, and Ellsbury, the Red Sox have no other consistent power source from the left side besides designated hitter David Ortiz. New catcher A.J. Pierzynski is a left-handed hitter with some pop, but he's much streakier and far less disciplined a hitter than Chu, who is a left-handed hitter. Eight clubs are believed to be in on Chu, who is likely going to command a multi-year deal very similar, if not larger, than the one Ellsbury just received from the Yankees. The Tigers are believed to be interested in Chu as well. Chu, 31, is a year older than Ellsbury. The contract trumps the seven-year deal the Red Sox gave to Carl Crawford three years ago, a sure sign of how much the Yankees value Ellsbury's triple threat of base stealing, hitting ability in the leadoff spot and defense. The fact the short right field porch at Yankee Stadium plays into Ellsbury's power stroke likely boosted his appeal. The deal is pending a physical that is expected to take place later this week. In January 2006, former Red Sox outfielder Johnny Damon signed a four-year deal worth $52 million with the Yanks. Ellsbury's deal reportedly includes an option for an eighth year that would increase the total value to $169 million. It also leaves the Red Sox with a gaping hole in their leadoff spot. Victorino could slide over from right field to play center or Bradley could be called into action. Bradley is considered to be major league ready with his glove but still has room to develop his offensive skills. Bradley also is not the same threat on the bases as Ellsbury. Because the Red Sox made a qualifying offer to Ellsbury, they will receive a supplemental draft pick, between the first and second rounds, from the Yankees. They would have received a first rounder but the Yankees already lost it to the Atlanta Braves when they signed free agent catcher Brian McCann to a five-year deal. The Red Sox decision to not pursue Ellsbury to the extent the Yankees did is not so surprising, given the conservative tack they have taken with free agency and long-term contracts since last off-season. They do have to make a decision on how they will replace their homegrown center field solution. They might not want Victorino to make the switch to center field because that would mean someone other than Victorino would be in charge of patrolling Fenway Park's dangerous right field. That's something Victorino did at a gold glove level this past season. Or, the Sox might decide that Bradley is not ready for prime time. Whatever they decide, the Red Sox still have to add another outfielder. Another possibility on the free agent market is Curtis Granderson. One defensive-oriented center field free agent option is Franklin Gutierrez, who played in Seattle the past five seasons. For more news and reviews around the world, visit and subscribe to our YouTube channel at www.youtube.com slash SZRBCTV.